published 1911 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of May 2018, updated 1911 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of May 2018. Rangers are in talks with potential investors over plans to raise cash for a Steven Gerrard transfer fund. The Ibrox Club will continue negotiations with the number one target for the manager's post on Thursday. Gerard wants former Scotland captain Gary McAllister as his number two and admitted on Tuesday that he has already held positive talks with the Rangers hierarchy. The Liverpool and England icon is, however, reported to be seeking assurances over transfer cash before accepting the job. Rangers are in talks with investors over plans to raise cash for a Steven Gerrard transfer fund Sports Mail understands chairman Dave King has already held discussions with external parties willing to put money into the club via a rights issue geared to converting existing shareholder loans to equity and raising working capital. Plans to raise funds have been delayed by King's court battle with the takeover panel who have compelled him to make a mandatory offer for shares in the club. The financial regulator have been granted two interdicts ordering the Rangers chairman to both make an offer and to provide third-party proof he has the funds to comply. Found by the Court of Session to have acted in concert with three other shareholders in the boardroom, the South African-based businessman had until last Thursday to contact other shareholders with an offer to buy up the remaining two-thirds of the club's equity at 20p per share, but failed to prove he had the cash to buy the shares. A statement on the club's website last week read, RIFC is seeking the necessarily South African government approvals to permit the cash required for the offer to be transferred to the United Kingdom to enable an appropriate third party to provide the cash confirmation. Meantime, the takeover panel has asked RIFC to advise shareholders that the panel will take all appropriate steps to seek to ensure that a code-compliant offer is made as soon as possible. Sports Mail understands Rangers chair Dave King has held discussions with external parties. Meanwhile, Paul Murray, one of King's takeover allies, added to a week of Ibrox turmoil yesterday when he and fellow director Barry Scott stepped down from the Rangers board. Former Deutsche Bank accountant Murray returned as a director of the Rangers International Football Club PLC when King's Consortium wrestled power back from the old regime three years ago. Hong Kong businessman Scott joined the Rangers board last December having been part of a group who invested £6.5 million in loans to the club. A club statement read, Rangers International Football Club PLC notify the resignation of two directors, Mr. Paul Murray and Mr. Barry Scott. Paul has been a director since March 2015 and played an important role at that time in helping oust the previous board and restore the club to the hands of those who have its best interests at heart. Paul has served with distinction as a director since the time and all at Rangers are very grateful for his efforts. We look forward to welcoming him again as a supporter. Barry joined the board more recently and his enthusiasm and drive were welcome. The board knows it will continue to enjoy his support and appreciates the commitment he has shown to the club.